Hello, Tim here from Mind's Eye, and today I'll be showing you how to program your robot for the Mind's Eye competition. Let's take a look. I saw the screen, I have two programs open. You'll see I have Competition Template as well as Competition Template Switch. These are two separate programs. You don't need to pay attention to what they are. But first, let's open the program. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Arduino. We're going to go to File, uh, Examples, and we're going to go down to Mind's Eye. Then go to projects, and here you can find all of our project codes. And just quickly here, we're, I'm using competition template as well as competition template switch. But you also want to have open AUV as well as <clears throat> under applications, simple rate of drive. All right, so I'll go over each of these programs. But first, let's start with the competition template. So take a look at this one. We act well, both of these we can see both of these start out with the the same generic here. I have on line one and two we include the Mindsight library and the servo and then down here on line 18 we have the servo drive and actually yeah lines 5 through 15 or 5 through 12 on here just kind of show you what the example is. Um, you can also check out our Arduino resource guide here at mindsighteducation.com slash programming resources and then if you have any additional questions or comments Always feel free to email uh, email us at code at mymindsight.com. So this, um, if we look right here on the competition template, we can see that this example shows how to switch control between two modes by determining if the radio input to pin three is currently active. Note that not all radio receivers will turn off when the remote signal is lost, in which case the robot will never leave radio control mode. So what that basically means is when we turn the radio off, uh, our remote control radio off. It will go into a different program. Right. So you have to figure out if your remote does that or not. Now, the second option, the competition template switch, um, has a solution for that. Basically, this example will allow you to switch control between two modes based on the radio switch plugged into pin 7. So, in this case, your radio would be on the whole time, and then you're just using basically pin 7 on the Arduino to switch between the two different uh, codes. Right. So, um, pretty similar. Uh, let's just go through the setup. So on line 18, you can see both both of these codes have servo student drive. Now on line 21 through 30, basically we have the same drive down attach 405, the drive down right 90, drive down right 90, and then this is delay of 2000, delay of 2000. This delay is is for um, Basically, in the um, the speed controller arm. Uh, oh, and I should add though. So, if you look at the competition template, this has an extra line on line twenty one to get radio three. Which basically, because we're using the radio, it uh, will show you what, what it's getting from the radio. Um, and that, just to briefly describe what these are, this basically means we have a drive, or our speed controller is plugged into pin four on the Arduino. On both these cases, and then we have our steering servo, which is attached to pin 5, and we're setting both of those to 90, which the ESC at 90 would be neutral, so not it shouldn't be moving forward and backward, and the steering should be centered at 90. Uh, now, now looking in the loop section, both of these have a little bit different, but fairly similar. So, if we start with the let's start with the competition template, uh, we can see the void loop. Basically, if the radio is on three, so if the radio is on, then it, it runs the radio control, else it's going to run radio off. And then we just see below it, we have void radio control, which is this is the code is going to run when the radio is on. And then on line 45, radio off, this is the code that's going to run when the radio is off. And now back to our switch, basically the same exact thing. If the radio control 7 is greater than 90, so basically the switch is. If the switch is flipped, then we'll run the radio control. And if it's off, then we'll run the radio off. And you'll write those code codes here. All right, so I think what we'll do now is I'll just show you an example of what you can do with this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open our simple radio drive here. Now I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the competition template and not the competition template switch. But both of these examples would be basically handled 
in the same way. So what we're going to do is basically copy the code from our simple radio drive into our competition template. So we need to make sure that all of these are exactly the same. So for example, on the top, we have our mind's eye. And then the next line is our include servo. These are the same. So I guess there's your answer. Yeah. All right, so here we have, so we're going to start with um, copying this code from simple radio drive over to competition template. All right, so we'll start here at line 16, and we, we see we have an, an integer, two integers defined, drive sync and steer sync. So what we're going to do is just copy that over here and paste that into this line here. Now we have, now we're going to check the void setup, and conveniently these two are exactly the same. So if you see here, we see on line 18 we have drive attach 4, steer to attach 5, drive to line 90, steer to attach 90, which is the same over here, and as well as the delay 2000. So now down to the loop section, this is where it's a little bit different. And this loop section, void loop, is going to go into our radio control. So I can just copy this whole section here and paste it into the section. And now, just to make sure we've done that correctly, I can press the I verify button. I think I missed maybe a bracket or two. Or maybe an extra bracket. But it'll pop that up. So, it says, archiving build core, and... Right, so I think, let's see, just check this bracket here. Yep, we're good. As well as here. Alright, so it looks like this Dev compiling. All right. Oh yeah. While we're doing this, we might as well save this as a, a separate example. Let's see if we can recall this. Tim's competition template, and this is just saved in my Arduino folder. But you can really save that wherever you want. Okay. And then for future reference, when you go to open, you can just open these, and it will show up right here. Or you can go to File, uh, Open, Recent, or Open. And actually, I would just go to Sketchbook, and that's where it shows. Okay, um, right. So that's that's basically it for simple radio control. We've added that to it. So the next section, the next program we need to add to this is our. We want to add the competition. No, we want to add the AUV. Right, so okay, so now this is a little bit, there's a little bit more stuff in here, but basically you could run this program right now as 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 we're sitting, and when we turn it off, it would just do nothing. So now what we're going to do is basically add our full AUV code into this void radio offset. So basically, when the radio is on, we're going to have radio control. When the radio is off, it's going to run top of us. All right, so up at the top, we're just going to add in these right here. So we can see we have a bunch of constant booleans, integers, and this actually adds a servo drive front stair and back stair. Add these right on top. And then we have drive steer and front stair. So now this at this point you're gonna to have to figure out do I have two servos? On my robot, or do I just have one? Do I need to designate them between front steer, front steer, and back steer, or am I using a Y reverser to to do that? Now, first, I would recommend that you use it just the Arduino because that way you can save the Y reverser. So let's do that. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to basically take this line and uh, paste it here. Now, at this point, you can see. I would basically need to change my code. So I'm not going to be using steer and drive anymore. I'm going to be using drive and front steer. Right? So now you're going to have to add a line. You're going to have to get front steer and back steer. And you're going to attach that probably to pin 6, I think. So. Right. And then do back steer. Uh, attach, and then this is going to be, oops, it's actually not right, it's going to be 90, 
on. And this one's going to be front center. Okay, so now we got our drive, front center, back center. And that's all set up here. But then we have to change that. No, we don't have to change it in the loop section, but we do have to change this in this section. So this has to be front steer, front steer dot right, and back steer dot right. I may have to change this later, but let's just leave this out. Okay, and in the next section, we're going to take a look at the setup on the AEP code. So you can see we have pin mode 13 and 12. We have the drive down attach 4, front steer 5, back steer 6. Then we have our steer center, um, drive down right 90. Uh, okay, yeah, and then delay 2000. Which steer dot center is basically the same as um, front steer dot right. So we could we could do this even could change this either way. So we do either front steer dot right ninety or steer. But let's just copy this. Steer dot center. We have a drive dot right ninety. Okay. Now basically the we take the whole void steer section. I'm gonna have to add this. I think this would have to go one loop. Could I add this before the loop? Just here, and then we're gonna do this loop section now in the radio off section. So right behind here, I think I got the brackets right. Let's double check. So we got radio off, and that corresponds to yeah. So this else corresponds to here. here. Alright, so then what we're going to have to do is go through here, go through this whole section and make sure this corresponds to the variables that we have defined already. Alright, uh, well let's just see. About, let's see, one minute left. Let's see if we can do it. So it says done compiled. So that's fairly close. There may be some tweaks or other things to do, but that gives you basically the rough estimate of how to add the code to the AUV, or to how to add AUV and um, the simple array drive to the competition template. I think that that basically gives you the rough idea how to do it. Um, all right, so and then you just have to change that depending on how it goes. All right, any questions or just, just mail, email, um, what are we saying? code at mymindsign.com. So, all right, thanks. Thanks for watching.